this video on complex numbers we're looking at adding, multiplying, dividing and subtracting them from each other. So remember how we define the imaginary unit, that i is equal to the square root of minus 1 and this clearly implies that um, i squared is equal to minus 1. Okay, So that's something to remember, yeah, you saw when multiplying and dividing these numbers. First we'll look at addition. If we got a complex number y equal to a plus bi and a complex number z equal to c plus di then y plus z is equal to a plus c plus b plus d i okay so that is the real part of y plus z and this is the imaginary part right and what can we learn here well when adding we just add the real parts together and that gives us the real part of our new complex numbers and we add the imaginary parts to each other and that gives us the imaginary part of our new complex number um, if we put in the minus here, then the plus or minus, this becomes a plus or minus c plus b plus or minus d, which makes sense. If we were subtracting z, it would get a minus c and b minus d. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to you all. Now for multiplying them together. Okay, so we have, we're still looking at y and z. So y multiplied by z, or z, I'm from England, I don't know where that came from, um, is a plus bi multiplied by c plus di. Okay. So we multiply term by term. We get ac plus a di plus c B I okay and then we get plus B D I squared but remembering I squared is equal to minus one so this leads to A C minus B D plus A D plus C B multiplied by I, okay, fact, factoring out the I there. So here our imaginary parts are, is, is this here, we'll just put um, in, and this is our real part. Um, the imaginary parts found by it's all the cross product, so the real times by the the imaginary bit, and the real real bit you get from almost well, well I would say the, not the squares, but the the real times the real, and the imaginary times the imaginary. Okay, because of this cancellation effect. Final thing we'll look at quickly is division. So say we have y over z. We have a plus b i over C plus D I and we might want to look at factorizing this so one way we are uh, not factorizing this rationalizing this and that's getting rid of this imaginary part here so we might multiply by C minus D I over C minus D I and on the top, um, we can use what we know about multiplication, but for now, I'm just going to write it like this because it doesn't really matter what we get on the top. And then on the bottom, we get this difference of two squares, okay? And if you can remember what, what I said before about the imaginary part, and when we, what we're trying to do is get rid of the imaginary part from the bottom. The imaginary part is found by these cross terms, so 
the real multiplied by the imaginary and the imaginary multiplied by the real and these are those middle terms that because of this difference of two squares here the positive sign here and the negative sign cancel out so all we get on the bottom is uh, we'll get that in a minute all we get on the bottom is c multiplied by itself c squared and then we get minus d squared i squared, but i squared is minus 1, so plus d squared, and c and d are both real numbers, so that's how we can get rid of the uh, imaginary part i from a quotient involving complex numbers, okay? That's it for this video. If you did enjoy, please let me know in the comments down below, and I hope to see you in the next video.